All right, now we're gonna do a filler that is great for negative space because it adds a lot of texture. I am going to switch down to regulated mode and just scooch down this line so I can get a little bit of space from the top. Now, if you were doing this across a whole quilt, then this would be the edge of your quilt. So um, this could go from edge to edge, or it could be in a defined area like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stitch a wavy line. This can be as drastically wavy or as gently wavy as you like. And I'm gonna stitch it all the way across to um, the other edge of my area, but you could do it across to the edge of the quilt. And then I'm going to stitch another wavy line that you can have it mirror this line if you'd like, or you can have it be uh, very different, which I think is a really nice look for a modern quilt. So I'm going to use my ruler and just move down to get to to get a little bit of space. And what we're doing here is we're creating an unquilted area that will live between these wiggly lines. So now we've separated this into three areas. We are gonna leave this all unquilted and we're gonna do a very dense filler right here and above so that this kind of river of unquilted area is very prominent. Now you can choose whatever dense filler you like, but I'm gonna do like just a back and forth lines. Um, I really like the look and it goes really quickly for me, but you could do tiny pebbles, you could do tiny swirls, you can do whatever filler you'd like here. Alright, there's the bottom of this design done. I'm going to scooch back up this line and do the top. Okay, there is our filler. Now I will say that this is a very dense, um, almost stiff feeling um, filler. And so I don't know if I would do this on like a quilt that you necessarily wanna like snuggle on the couch with, but it's really cool in borders, or you can see um, this cool unquilted river kind of like going behind like a large block in the middle. Like if you have a quilt with a lot of negative space, this could be really cool on the background. But um, definitely test this texture out on a scrap if you're thinking of using it to make sure that you like it because it's, I love it, but um, I know not everybody does. So that's our next filler.